Hi! How are you doing? How are you finding everything you need? How is your day going? Are you doing okay? What? Your dog died? Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. What? Your partner left you a week later? Oh no! And you just found out that someone stole your identity and now you owe $20,000 in credit cards? My gosh! What a bad year you've been having! What was that? You're looking for a will to live? Oh, aisle 15 right next to Margarita Mix, 50% off! Have a nice day! Do you... Do you recognize that voice? Have you heard it before? Chances are, you have heard this voice as a subtle cry for help. Or worse, you've made this voice. You heard this voice come out of your mouth and you stand there wondering, who? Who is this? He just, because she does not sound like you. She sounds friendly, enthusiastic, helpful, a team player, and not a bitch. Very different from the salty and distant person you are on the inside. Do you want to know who she is? She is the customer service voice. And the second you punch in for your retail, restaurant server, call center, hotel front desk, McDonald cashier job, you have... She takes over. Signs of the possession include, but are not limited to, the following. Eyes widening. Big smile that hurts your cheeks. High-pitched voice that resembles a six-year-old boy. Talking very fast about pauses you don't even understand. Laughing at inappropriate jokes that are not funny. Responding, have a nice day, to someone's comment, this place fucking sucks. And saying sorry to situations that are not your fault or out of your control. And many more symptoms that chip away at your soul. I have been working in customer service for about four years now, and let me tell you, she has taken over how I interact with people in general. Don't get me wrong, my friends and family still get my bitter, cynical, sour, and sarcastic being they all know and tolerate. The strangers? Strangers experience my customer service voice. I would go to a restaurant and I would speak to the waitress and waiter as if they were my customer because that's the only way I know how to not be rude. I think they pick up on it sometimes, but the second I make this voice, there is no going back. And we're going to speak in this tongue throughout all our interactions. Our relationship will remain shallow and fake until I pay the bill and leave. Never knowing the genuine friendship we could have had if I wasn't taken over by this voice. This voice comes out anywhere, at any time, unprompted and unwanted, even when I'm on the light rail. Because for whatever reason, people would ask me questions about the light rail as if I worked there and I do not. And when they wave their hand in front of me to get my attention, my first response is, Yes, how can I help you? Internally, I am screaming, What? Why did I say that? I don't want to help you. Why are you even asking me questions? Do you not see the massive headphones on my ears that is the universal sign of do not approach? I just want to be left alone till I get to my destination, but now I am giving you directions, even when there is a map on the goddamn train you could look at. It's such a reflex now whenever I interact with strangers. Customers are strangers, if you think about it, and now that's the only way I know how to mingle with people. And it sucks 
and it makes me uncomfortable sometimes. But if you're look, if you're watching this video and you're thinking, I don't make this voice, I don't know what she's talking about, then you have at least had a coworker who makes this voice, or worse, you had a coworker who takes this voice too far. It is so high pitch that you think your ears might bleed and talk so fast you think you're speaking a different language. If you, in case you do understand, I said, they talk so fast as if they are speaking in a different language. Basically, they are the vocal representation of a leaking helium tank. Even their smile seems more threatening. Yeah, don't I know it because sometimes I do that too. It's usually when I'm in, I'm in a bad mood, but I'm getting paid to be friendly, so I overcompensate. I don't like when I do this, but man, do I get irritated when I hear other people do it, so I keep that in mind and try to check myself. This voice has gotten me in uncomfortable situations. Because people think I like them as a person due to the friendly way I interact with them, not realizing I am getting paid to be friendly or this is the only way I know how to talk to people. And then they perceive to hug me. And these people are customers, <coughs> strangers, by the way. But I will get into that at a later video because I have some thoughts of how people invade my personal space. Now, I know this video is focused more on a girl's perspective because that is this perspective I know, so feel free to comment below as to what a guy's voice sounds like. From what I've noticed, guys talk a lot slower and they tend to move more. But anyway, here is a drawing of Retrosis and Foam from Land of the Lustrious. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. So, bye bye! Sasha, Sasha, get your foot off my, Sasha, booty off my paper. Sasha, 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 booty off my paper. Look at this cat. This cat interrupting me. I'm trying to work here. Sasha! Booty off my paper! Sasha, I'm trying to work. Sasha! Din Din! You want some Din Din? Come on! Give me some Din Din. Give me some Din Din. Give me some Din Din. Will you leave me alone?